Hey yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel today. It's an IRL video. You can't believe it. Marcel is actually not doing gaming for once. And today the topic is my room tour. Because a lot of you have been requesting it. I live at the moment with friends for a little info for the people that didn't get it or why my setup looks so different. I still have the old gaming station. And I'm gonna be there every every now and then, so don't be confused if you see different kind of gameplay every now and then, like with different backgrounds, different cam settings, mic quality, whatever. But at the moment, I'm living with friends. And I'm super grateful for that, so big shout out also to Toby for uh, allowing me to be with him and his family. Um, really appreciate it. First of all, I think we're gonna structure it and me showing you, I mean, you can already see a few bits and pieces, but I'm going to show you what's in here first of all. So, entrance of my room, here's a door, right? Everyone has said there's a closet. I'm not going to show you the inside because you don't need to see my underwear. Like for real guys, um, there's a limit. But I can show you, I have my own bathroom, which is crazy. Um, feels like a hotel room, but here's a shower. Um, then I also have toilet here uh, and of course a sink and area where I get ready to do my tabular skincare you know uh, shave my prestigious majestic beard and get ready for my videos so um, yeah not much to see in here but just as a little takeaway little takeaway can you say that it sounds like I'm ordering Chinese or something um, yeah but this is the entrance of the area. Then let's, before we go into the gaming setup, this is my bed, my bedroom. I have a huge TV. I don't know how big it is. Um, so yeah, just to let you know, I'm not a rich kid. <laughs> because people will probably be like, oh my God, how much money do you make or so? I'm not a rich kid. You guys need to lower your expectation of what an esports driver earns. Like, it's not anything crazy, all right? It is good. It is really good. Not gonna lie. It is really good. But people will think we are making millions and that is definitely not the case. So yeah, just um, a little takeaway here again. Okay, I would say now we can already get a little bit into the gaming uh, setup. I think I might show you a little bit more close-up shots while it's talking in the background. So I think this, this would probably make more sense if I do it on my PC. So I might stop it here, but I will quickly show you. Yes, I have a hairdryer here. Because this mirror is better for hairdryer. <laughs> and I have a... Um, power source there so that's why I'm doing it um, but we have my monitor here I have a light and camera from well you can see the breath I will I think I'm gonna yeah I'm definitely gonna do it how I said it I'm gonna show you in a second um, so this is my room it's massive and big shout out to Toby thank you very much uh, for letting me be with him, it's making it a much nicer experience, much more fun. And now let's get into the deep dive of my gaming setup. Okay, you know what? I opted for not doing it the way I thought I would do it. So don't mind the glass. My setup over here is pretty epic not gonna lie this is kind of a dream setup and you can already see like why i'm saying that yes ignore the cable management but this whole setup is nuts for gaming streaming and whatsoever and there are a few key components that i had to make sure this is all looking how it's looking right now and a big shout out to all of the brands that did help me out i will of course mention them um that was even before i uh, signed with Mercedes so I went over here 
organize most of the stuff myself. There's still gonna be a lot of Mercedes partners that are gonna send me stuff over and I'm gonna use their products from uh, the future when I receive it. But yeah, for now there's a lot of brands which are not having anything to do with Mercedes at the moment, just to clarify. Uh, and yeah, so first of all, I got a big supply of Elgato. They sent me a key light, a face cam, another key light, um, this beautiful microphone. They also sent me another microphone uh, arm. No, wait. Oh, no. But this year, this microphone arm, this is amazing. Like, honestly, I had one from Rode before in my, my other um, gaming station, and this one is so much better. It's insane. And of course, also the Wave XLR over here, which is amazing, and the sound is crisp, perfect, and it doesn't really disturb when driving because I can move it around, has a lot of flexibility. This is really great. Helps me a lot. So I have the key lights. They also sent me these, these stands. They are not uh, usual from what I know. Like usually you clamp them to something like a table, uh, like you do it over here. But I request it just so I can move it around a little bit better to get one of these and or two of these and they made that possible. They also sent me some arm extensions like this here, which is crazy cool. Like with this, I can literally add another thing to this and move my camera exactly where I want it to be. Same over here with a heavy clamp. This is so helpful. Like if you don't want to run like a crazy, crazy setup, like for if I have to be honest, this guy over here, I don't really have a clue what I'm doing most of the time regarding these kind of setups. Well, I have somewhat of a clue, but I'm not a, a pro at it. Let's just say it like that. And with these kind of products, it's so easy to assemble and put together that you kind of can create your own way of running things. And this works perfectly. Of course, my cable management doesn't look perfect. I mean, just have a look here. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you would say this is embarrassing and it is but I don't know how to fix it like I tried to I even improved it a little bit for the video so it doesn't look as messy at the front but this one at the back it's just so hard to do especially because I move these cables all the time um yeah so thank you Elgato Elgato Germany thank you for hooking me up with this setup big thanks next up we have um HyperX they supplied me with headphones, keyboards, mouse, and also another actually XLR mic, which I'm not using here because I have this one. Um, and an XLR cable, which I'm using here actually in the Elgato one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, I like to run head headbutts, which is uh, really, really useful if you don't want to use headsets because they sometimes annoy me a little bit when I'm just casually playing. So head uh, earbuds are great. Um, did I say headbuds? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I have the XLR cable also in there. Um, this is what I had from HyperX. Super, super helpful as well. Thank you so much because otherwise I couldn't even have set up my PC yet without getting another keyboard or whatever. And yeah, that is really cool. But soon we're gonna switch over to SteelSeries. So with Mercedes branding. Looking forward to try out Steel Series. Never did that before, aside from at the factory and their sound quality is amazing. But still, big shout out to HyperX for making this possible. Very grateful. And just again, to make sure, no confusion, I received all of this before I was with Mercedes, okay? I just want to show you my current setup and also these guys, I told them I would make a video um, like if they actually are able to provide stuff, they didn't even ask for that, but I said I will mention that they helped me out. So this is not a sponsored thing or anything, it's just brands that I know from sim racing and whatsoever that were able to help me out in a situation where I was desperately needing some help. Next up, I'm using, this is not actually from anyone, Samsung, I think it's called Odyssey G7, it's a 32 inch, 240 hertz. So I have kind of, if I'm sitting in the rig, if I look around, I have monitors everywhere. This is amazing for sim racing in general um, on 
games like iRacing or like proper sims, but you can actually also run this if you know if you enable Nvidia Surround in the graphic settings. So yeah, this is pretty mega and it's just the right fit. So I bought them. These are all bought. They are not sponsored, just in case you're wondering. Um, but they are great. If you like curved ones, I would heavily recommend these. Um, I had no troubles with them so far and they look great. So yeah, big thumbs up, like them. Then on the next one, two more brands that really helped me out a big time on my move because how should a sim racer drive without a seat, right? Play seat, thank you so much. The Dutch brand, they hooked me up um, with this and as well, we are using this usually in F1 Esports on LAN, so that's why I was hoping they could set me up with one of these. They also got me a nice little carpet so I don't scratch the floor. Um, so yeah, this was very, very nice from them. Thank you, Taco. Uh, know him for quite some time, ever since 2018, when I was still with Force India. So yeah, thank you very much for that. This is great. And another thing that they gave me is this triple stand. Because I wanted to run triples for streaming, it makes it so much easier. I mean, look at this. Like, if I walk in there, nobody will be able to disturb me immediately, which is great. And um, yeah, this is also great for stability with uh, direct drives. Then I could basically put another monitor there, but from this position looking up, it's not that nice. So I kept it with three and have this one over there. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. You could also put your PC here, but my PC is actually too big. This is a key component that I forgot. I also bought that myself. Insane PC actually from, I think this is Asus. Has a 4090 inside and a pretty crazy processor. I might um, put it on the screen, uh, but it's it's like a, a cooking PC. It's really cooking, It's it's crazy good. And uh, I don't regret it, but it was quite expensive. Yes. So, we had PlaySeed as well. This is my simulator rig. And now, of course, because of F1 Esports, um, I have Fanatec products, because we use them in in the game, uh, in the competition usually. Uh, ever since 2018, we've been running Fanatec. So I use a DD1 and the F1 rim. And then also here, the V2 pedals. I'm using V2s. The new ones with load cell. And this is actually it. Then over here, I still have a NAND light. This is from my friend Toby. Uh, this is also a pretty insane light. Like You can change so many things on there. And I have it as a background light. You can even opt for different modes like fire and whatever. And it's really bright. Like you can go up insanely. I'm getting blinded by the lights. Like, look at that difference, all right? <laughs> One second. So this is, it's daytime even. Turned off. And this is 100%. The difference is nuts. Yeah, it is. But guys, this is it for today. I don't think I forgot anything. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments down below if you might want to ask uh, what do you recommend me and whatsoever. Um, yeah, and just again as a little disclaimer and just to not confuse anyone. I set this whole thing up before I was with Mercedes. In case you're wondering. But a big shout out to Playseed, Fanatec and HyperX and Elgato for helping me out on the move to my friend because this made things a lot easier and over here I also have a scuff controller sorry forgot about that they even sent this to me back in the days that was a bit longer ago but super cool if I'm playing casual games like Rocket League or other story games but for now ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want to if you don't want to don't leave a comment down below but it would help me out for the algorithm so people see this video it would be great uh, thank you all so much for the support and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone, you're Marcel, peace.